Hi, and welcome back. My name is Jörg, which is German for George, here at Run a Job in Germany in Berlin. Today's clip is about my home country, Germany, and I'm sharing a crazy fact about Germany you will have never heard of, but still makes a big difference when you actually get your job offer and settle here. Because you better believe it, Germany is actually not one country. Wait, what? Germany is not one country? That's nonsense. I know, I know. I'm exaggerating a little in today's video, just so you know. But let's back up here for a second. As you know, we've helped many tech and IT professionals get a job here in Germany. And if you are also interested in that, you should watch our video training where you find the link right below this video in the video description. But did you also know that the cities that our successful coaches end up getting job offers are scattered all over the country? Let's take a look at the Germany map and I'm showing you the cities which our coaches ended up in. And there is Berlin, of course, right? Then come Hamburg in the north, Munich in the south, and then there is also Stuttgart, Frankfurt, Cologne, Düsseldorf, Leipzig, Bremen, Hannover, Bielefeld, Dresden. Now I could go on forever because it's been quite a lot. Anyway, looking at that map, what I'm going to tell you now is going to surprise you because Germany is actually a rather small country. It fits like two times into a country like Nigeria. And if you compare it to Brazil or India, see the pictures here, well, you get the picture. And still, the people who live in these regions of this very small country, the north, the south, the west, and the east of Germany, they are very different. What now? Okay, again, let's take it step by step so you understand the differences. Germany, the way it exists today, in 2023, <laughs> is actually a fairly new country. It has only existed for a little over 30 years when the division of Germany into West and East ended. And before that, Germany mainly consisted of a lot of small kingdoms, reals, and city-states for most of its history. So a unified Germany, as you know today, is a relatively new thing. Now, that is also why the people you're going to meet are going to be very different depending on where you end up. Uh, yes, they all speak German, but you could see these different regions all as their, let me put it like this, own countries too. Because different mindset, different mentality, different attitudes, also the way they speak German is different. This may be a little strange to you coming from abroad, but for me, talking to Germans about Germans like that makes perfect sense. And a lot of Germans would actually agree. I'm now going to show you five different regions so that you at least uh, get a better picture and know a little bit how Germany is different depending on where you're going to live. Again, the cultural, economic, the social differences of these regions are profound. And this, coming again, has a historical background. First, let's talk about the South. The people from this region are actually a little bit spoiled by success. Uh, also, they are very ambitious and maybe also a little conceited. And I don't mean this in a bad way. After all, the South is the strongest economic region in Germany. Historically, there has always been a very strong sense of doing business here. And in many cities there, you won't find much unemployment really, in fact, full employment. Also, this is the area in Germany where rules and the rule of law are sacred. So where rules are to be complied with at all times. So people can get a little strict about it. Next, let's talk about the North. What's interesting really here is that studies generally show that the happiest people in Germany live in the north. And while this region is not as economically strong, there is less industry and trade there. The reason is said to be the northern mentality. People there do not need much to be happy, which is quite similar to a Scandinavian mindset, where a minimalist lifestyle works perfectly fine for the people. Next, the northeast, which is probably one of the most scenic regions in Germany. Many Germans spend their vacations there. At the same time, hmm, this region is a bit difficult. I personally feel that people can get a little resentful at times. There's higher unemployment rates. And for you being from abroad, I don't really recommend moving there because people aren't as used to foreigners, okay? Except for Berlin, of course, which exists by its own standards. Next, the middle and southeast. 
This region is also part of the former communist East Germany and has really hit it off after unification. And in some cases, there are more jobs and investments here than in some regions in the Northwest and in the North that I was just talking about. One city you're going to like is Leipzig, where also few from our clients have gotten jobs and another great city is Dresden. But in Saxony, you also want to be aware of some people you know, who still believe it's 1983 and not 2023. So they've never really met people from abroad and they'll look suspiciously, suspiciously strange at you. Just ignore it. I personally find that people there are kind and quite modest. Also, religion really doesn't play a role there. Nowhere else in Germany are there as many atheists. But that's my take on that region. And then last, the West, which is where I'm from. Now I can honestly tell you this is the least German it gets because... This region has been also, you know, very much torn apart by lots of wars over the centuries. Anyway, nowhere else are people as, let me put it, boisterous and persistent. People's way is really a lot about pleasure, more than anywhere else, I would say. And people are seen kind of a bit annoying, but in a friendly way. They talk a lot, okay? But they're open in terms of mindset and communication. And for you, that's probably also not a bad thing. These are all, of course, generalizations. So big disclaimer here from my end. And of course, it really depends on who you're going to be meeting in these regions when you actually move to Germany. And it will probably also happen that you will meet people who have lived in different regions in Germany during their lifetime already, right? So it really depends on each and everyone's take. Again, Germany is a small country, but it should still give you a general idea of what to expect. And of course, one more thing, you might be wondering about Hamburg and Berlin. These are the two biggest cities in Germany, and they're not really bound by their region. They have their own identity. Um, you know, there is more of a cultural melting pot, more diversity, more international culture, and they are more comparable to other major, major cities in the world than to a specific region in Germany. Naturally, if you join our coaching program and you get an offer in a certain city, we will definitely fill you in on the specifics of that city or region. Sometimes people even also get up, end up getting remote jobs within Germany. That means they can choose where they want to work because they only have to show up at a specific office in a specific city, let's say once a week or twice a month. And then that also comes into play. Where do you want to move? Uh, if you're coming with a family, do you want to maybe get a small house somewhere where it's not too expensive? Because it, of course, makes a big difference on whether you are then going to be moving to Berlin or, let's say, a totally different region in the West where there is more supply in that regard. Again, if you're interested, then go ahead and watch our video training to see how we work and book a get-to-know call. We're looking forward to meeting you and showing you more about Germany.